Sid Zweigbaum down on the field with Mustangs head coach Ed Hoddle. The Mustangs lose their first game of the season, 38-35 in the hands of Wilkes. Coach, you guys couldn't have gotten off to a better start. You're up 14 to nothing, minute 54 into the game. Uh, where do you think things went, you know, badly? Well, I think they started going pretty bad shortly after that. Um, you know, look, give all the credit to them. They, they, they took advantage of our mistakes. They made plays when they had to make plays. Um, you know, they, they, they continually, um, you know, were able to move the chains to the tune of over 500 yards total offense. So, um, you know, any, anytime you give up yards like that and you give up third downs like we gave up today, you know, you're, you're going to struggle to win football games. And, um, you know, and all the credit to them, they did a great job getting their kids ready and kids went out and executed, you know, well thought out, well executed game plan. It was such a back and forth game, especially in the second half. Um, your defense has been so amazing over the last couple of years, especially this year against the pass. You're number one in so many defensive passing categories. Uh, what were they able to do successfully passing? Why were they able to be so good passing? Well, they went to some some run pass option stuff, um, which caused our you know our linebackers some problems in coverage. And you know, look, the quarterback did a great job scamp scrambling around, and, and and the guys on the back end did a great job finding open space. And that's you know, I think when we watch the film tomorrow, that's what we're going to see. And um, you know, that's something that we've got to look at and, and clean up for sure. Coach, uh, there was a play. Uh, you guys are up uh, late in the game. Their quarterback. Uh, all intents and purposes on the replay, it was clear he wasn't down. Did, did they have any explanation? And did you have any view from your side, because it was on the far side on that play where uh, he fumbled and Austin recovered at the 20? Yeah, I mean, the guys upstairs were, were saying it was clearly a fumble. Um, you know, they, they clearly ruled him down. So, you know, in, in, you know, I've learned that you, you can yell and scream all you want to. They're, they're not going to change their mind. Uh, from your point of view, could you see it at all? No, I couldn't see it. So um, late in the game, obviously you get the big run back from uh, Preston. Uh, w was there any thought to you guys, you know, third and long, kind of, you know, trying to make the field goal easier for Tim, or, or you're going for the touchdown to win it there? I mean, you know, we're going to go for the touchdown to win it. You know, Tim's been been pretty reliable all year, and that distance for him is it hasn't been an issue. So, um, you know, just a decision that we made, and 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 I'll stand beside that decision all day long. How do you guys get ready for next week? Um, you know, look, there's still a lot to play for. You know, we still have got a chance to win the conference. We still got a chance to go to the national tournament. Um, you know, it's hard to go undefeated. You know, you know that's a hard, hard thing to do. And you, and you look nationally, and you know that's why there's fewer than 20 undefeated teams out of 250. You know, it's it's a really, really hard thing to do. And you know, I I think our guys learned a valuable lesson. You know, they know that we've got to you know go up and play a, a Lycoming team that's you know that struggled a little bit of late. Um, you know, but I, I tell them all the time, you know, anybody can beat anybody any day. And that, that's the reality of college football. And you've got to prepare the same every week to go out and play for 60 minutes at a high level. And I don't think we did that today, you know, and, and that starts with me. And, you know, that, you know, I'll be the first guy to look in the mirror and take responsibility for, for not being ready to play today. And that's, um, you know, it's a tough pill to swallow for all of us. But, you know, we've still got a lot to play for and still a lot of good things out there for us. All right, Coach. Thanks a lot. And we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thank you. All right, that was Mustangs coach Ed Hotto. We'll see you in two weeks when the Mustangs are in the playoffs.